Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Is my car just stopped and it wouldn't move. Thank In this so area? Much. Yes. You, you, you try sparking it? I don't know what happened. I've been trying to touch it, but it just wouldn't move. I don't think this is a good place to be at this time of the night. I mean, if you don't mind, I suggest you can join me and then maybe you can pick up your car tomorrow. Please, thank you very much. Let me just close sure. the car, secure the car, follow you.
Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Do you have a room? Yeah. How much is the room? It's uh, 4,000 naira. 4,000 naira? Yes. For this place? <laughs> Madam, yes sir. Fine, no problem. I'm too tired to argue. I have only 5,500. That's the last money I have. Okay. My guy, just take this and give us two rooms. Please. <laughs> uh, okay, now 4,000, we they give room here. Two, 8,000. I know, I understand. See, we are from far away. This lady, I don't really know her like that. We were going somewhere. I'm going to, and we got robbed. Just try and understand, I beg. Okay. Just okay. understand, it's late now. I would have loved to help, really, but uh, if it's anything less than 8,000 for two rooms, I... Fine, you get four. Can I use it to make a call? Yeah. Just 100 naira for a minute. 100 naira? <laughs> now, so you did do That's so you did do Everything, that's so you did do Let me call my wife and see if maybe she can come with the other car. Huh? Because I... Hello? Hello, Anne? Anne, Anne, wait, 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 I got robbed! Anne, Anne! Is there a problem? She cut the line. Yes, there is a problem I need to settle at home. Oh, God. You don't have a friend or somebody you can call. Yeah, I could, I could, I could call Kenny. Do I have his number offhand? Three, seven, one, four, three. How about that, anyway? Hello. Is this Kenny? Yes, Kenny, hi. Yes, this is Joel. What's up? Uh, yes, I know it's late. I know it's late. I'm sorry. But listen, Kenny, I, I, I'm in a little... Um, I'm, 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 I'm in a situation right now. I was on my way to Inugu and I got robbed. Yes, and, and I need you to... Shit. Can you believe this? What's that? Out of minutes. That's my problem. Please help us refill it. Let's continue. Uh, with a cell report, our own finish this evening. Now we charge that new day. Oh my god. How am I supposed to call the hospital? We have no vex. Oh god, what kind of problem is this? What kind of tribulation is this, god? You still want the room? We want the room, that's why we are here. So. Take the 5,005. The two of you can share one room, you can manage. Our bed is wide, so. Just no say you no try. I know gonna start. Nah, too many things. Give me change. I'll go find the change. Wife's number. You can always me reach me on that until I can get my phone back in order. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I know I have some issues, but I will, I'll sort it out. You can call me on that number. I really do hope you sort it out. Your car? What about your car? Oh, that that shouldn't be much of a problem. It's fully insured. I will just alert the police, and I, <laughs> I hope to get it in good time. 
Thank you so much for your kindness. I'm, I'm really grateful and I will stay in touch. You're welcome. I mean, no regrets. I mean, who knows? I could have gotten shot. Something else could have happened to me if you were in there. God you know, people say women are the natural pacifiers in certain situations. So I thank God you were around. We have to leave really early tomorrow. Yeah, so we should sleep, right? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure you'll be okay sleeping on the floor? Yeah, I'll be fine. I just want you to be comfortable, so. Feel free, I'm fine. Yeah. I hope you don't mind if I take off my shirt. Oh, it's okay, you can take it out. Okay. Ah, good night. Problem? Yes, um, you have a phone call. From who? <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Hello? Yes, Ken, Ken, Ken. Sorry, yeah, yeah. no, 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 I didn't say uh, I came home last night. I didn't say that. Look, I have, I have, I have I just been through something terrible. What? What? Now? No, no, Kenny, listen, 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 listen. I can explain, okay? I will, I, will, I will let you know what it is. Just, please, just hold it down for me. Just, just hold her and I'll, I'll be there. Okay? All right, man, thanks. Thank you, thank you. No problems. No, 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 it's, uh, it's a problem. Yeah, I'll, I'll solve it. We'll, we gotta go. Once I get home, I'll just solve it. Come on, let's go. He's holding the phone, so... What are you waiting for? Yes, um, money for receiving calls. Will you get out? Get out! Come on, you still have my change. One minute you want to receive, one next minute you say you want to call. Mad man. So can, can we go? Yeah, sure. I, I, I need to get back. Driver, do you have a phone? Ah, uh, madam, you don't ask me before. I get phone, but crazy is not there inside. Step, you will bring money more by credit. It's okay, I forgot. And um, just pack anywhere now, where we can get credit to buy. Just anywhere. Wait, 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 please. My mechanic, that's my mechanic. What? Wait, please, wait. Godwin. So this. Ha, ah, madam. I don't call your number. What thing happened? After that time you spoke with me, mm -hmm. the man in that car was trying to give me a lift. Arm robbers, they took everything, including his car. What? I'm telling you, I don't believe this. Don't say it again. I'm telling you. See no, that man that helped me. No, so sorry. Ada? Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Please, I'm coming now. So, how far? My, my car is just a little overheating, but it's okay now. That was the reason why I couldn't come when you called me last night. Damn, you can drop me off at the hospital. Uh, I can, but we, we have to locate the car first. Where's the car? So I can see it. I'm going to show you where the car is. Let me tell the man I can go. Let them go. Let them go. That's my mechanic. Okay. Yeah, so I'll just go with him to the hospital. He wants to see where the car is. Fine. Then from there to the hospital. You sure you'll be safe? I'll be safe. I'll call you. Okay. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you so much. I'll call you. No problem. Thank you. Thank you.
driver like we discussed just give me a few minutes like five minutes i'll go in and bring the money okay yeah okay, no problem but remember yeah the time is money oh no problem i'll sort you out okay i'll, I'll compensate you for the time wasted right. come in to find out and then I decided to confront him about the phone I called him and he lied to me he told me he was in Lagos then I decided to dish out my impeccable proofs to his knowledge he suddenly went quiet someone who told me that I didn't know what I was talking about and that I was talking bullshit said that it didn't, it didn't happen the way I heard it. Annabelle! That he would... Annabelle! Stop! I'm a bitch! Come on, it's okay! Tell him not to fool me again. He shouldn't play with my intelligence. Sorry, it's... Calm down. Come on. Don't ever serve me with cheap and gratuitous lies. Did you hear me? I'm sorry. No! You're a pathetic liar. Danny, there's a cab driver outside. Can you give him oh, 10,000 naira? I'll sort you out later. Oh, it's all right. Come on, take it easy. I got this. I got it. <sighs> and I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I know I'm putting you through a lot. And I should have confessed. Whatever the case, just know that the child is not mine. It doesn't make any difference. It makes a lot of difference. Baby, I'm human. I made a mistake. My own humanity does not get me involved with in extra marital sex with the clerks in my office. Jewel! I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Joe, it doesn't make a difference. Especially now that you have a baby boy. You shit! I don't have a child! I don't, I don't have a boy or girl, okay? And everything is proving right here. And what the hell is that? It's a DNA test. Confirming that all of this is just a charade to destroy what we share. Maybe I'm sorry. Okay, I know you cannot conceive, but I'm not gonna go out there and, and disgrace you like that. <laughs> yes. All this is now a charade. God, how you can deceive me into this nonsense? What, 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 what? Baby, wait, wait! This is the, this is the result! Look! I can explain. This, this is the wrong one. This is the wrong result. I, I have to write. This is the one that her brother's friend influenced from the hospital. I did another one at the teaching hospital. I, baby, this is wrong. Where is it? I, I got it, I got it! Where is the result, Chua? Are you cold? 
Please. Have my jacket. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. It's all right. Thank you. Just help me hold this. result that exonerates you. Why did not you stop all of this? Just listen to me! Listen to you? Listen to you, Jewel? I should listen to you? To your lying, deceiving and conniving hell of a family? God! Just calm down. Can you just hear me out? Let me just explain. Explain what? You son of a bitch! You and your entire lying, deceiving and conniving hell of a family! Damn you, Jewel! Damn you and your family! Damn! Is that what you think? Are you sick in the head? Is something wrong with you? It's about me now, right? I'm trying to explain something to you. It's you and your entire family that has been and will continue to be sick, not me! I hate you, Jewel. God damn your family! I hate you all! Okay, go with the car. Go ahead! Take it! I don't need the car and I don't need you! Damn you! Damn you! <laughs> all sorts of things. What did he say? He was just lamenting about you not getting here on time with the inject in injections and how bad the boy's health could be. <sighs> Besides, early this morning, he, he, he started stealing blood. Crown? Stealing blood? What did the doctor do about it? He did nothing. Nothing. And, and by the way, what happened yesterday night and early this morning? He did nothing. I have to go and see the doctor. I mean, I'm not satisfied in the state in which my son is in. I have to see him. Oh, cool. Have you ever suffered, Mom's young man? Uh, no. Are you asthmatic? No, doctor. Get away from me! Busy. How can I give you time when I don't have time myself? It's alright, it's alright. Nurse, I'll, I'll take it on from here. Ma'am, you're here now. Doctor, I don't like the state in which I found my son. Young man, can you please excuse us? It's okay, doctor. Madam, you should remember, you should note that whatever situation you found your son was basically because of the fact that you did not provide the medications as at when due. Remember, we had a time frame. Oh, we had a time frame, all right. That was why I drove at 6 p.m. to Onicha to get the drugs, okay? Now don't make me feel like I haven't done enough. Just do it! It's all right. Okay, you have the injections now, right? Yes, I... You have them? Let's go. Do you have them yet? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Nurse, call, call in that young man for me, please. You said her name is... Her name is... Uh, uh, is she pregnant? No! Nurse. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for shouting. I'm, I'm just getting frustrated. Okay? I, I don't know if she's pregnant or not, but I don't think so. I, mean, I hardly know this woman. Can you just just go through your book? Check, check the book. If, if there's any child that is in the intensive care, Care unit, you know whose mother is. What's this lady's oh, okay. name? Okay, I think I remember. Good. Uh, Shai is suffering from tension in my thorax, right? Well, yes, maybe. I, I don't. I wouldn't know. John. Yes. Please come. Please take this man to amenity room four. Okay. Okay. Thank you, nurse. Which way? Um, 
God. What happened? She dropped again. Is there nowhere else we can contact him? But our phones were stolen the same day. What am I supposed to do? Hello. Oh. Oh, doctor. What is happening? I've been waiting in the office. I thought you said you had the medication. Doctor, there was a problem. Problem? That's, that's not the person I'm looking for. That, that's a girl child, right? Yes. Oh, God. I'm looking for a boy. It's a boy child. The mother's name is... Um, I... I... Uh, Ada? Is there any, you know, patient here and the mother's is called Ada? No, no. I don't think we have such a patient at this hospital. Excuse me. Uh, no, so, sorry. Is there another hospital in the vicinity I can check and find out? Please, you go as I ask them along the way. Alright, thank you. suggest you go out, comb around the pharmaceutical stores and search for those drugs, those medication, okay? It doesn't, doesn't make sense to me that you, you cannot find cytotoxic drugs within the city. Doctor, are you suggesting I leave him here alone again? Mm, yes, I suggest you leave him alone, okay? Because the key to his survival is not you being here with him, it's those drugs. Ada, Ada, please go, okay? I'll, I'll stay with him. I would have done that for you, but I don't want to run into my boss. And then all the lie I cooked up to be here would be busted. Please. I understand. I do. Please, I will, uh, I will have to leave now. As soon as you get the drugs, please let me know. Please. Sorry, um, I, I mistook you for somebody, somebody else. I'm sorry about that. No problem. What, what, what nurse? Is there somebody in I can yes. talk to? Yes. All right, thank you. I'm going to. Yeah, madam. Um. Yeah. Never decide. I'm going to police station. Police station. Which one? Case and or intensive care case we had were just discharged yesterday. Have you gone through everything? Yeah, just did that. Well, thank you. Um, don't you have the phone number of this paper so you can call them? No, I don't have it. Thanks for your time.
sure this is not the house because the directions, the address says this is the house. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. This house is and the only number 40 in the entire state. So I'm sure. Okay. Who is that Linda? Oh, I don't know. Some guy is... Uh, Ma'am, good day. It's a good day already. How may we help you? Yes, um, I'm actually looking for a lady. I believe she lives here. The address says this is the house. Her name is Ada. <laughs> what a courage. Excuse me? Oh, you were excused. I said what a fragrant courage that you have. Ma'am, I, I, I don't understand. How can you not understand? Where you had the audacity to walk into my family house in search of my daughter-in-law. Probably for a propagation of you two's ungodly extramarital assignation. Which I wouldn't think that you presume that I don't know of. I beg your pardon? No, why beg for it? When I'm such a bunch of verbal talent. Oh, you didn't hear me right? Or are you surprised that I have found out all along? You know what ma'am, I think there is some misunderstanding of identity here. Because Ada, your, your daughter-in-law, I barely know her. We only met last night. And as a matter of fact, what happened... In a nightclub what? perhaps? Yes. Or should I give it to the name she normally gives to it? Night Vigil. No. You know what ma'am? Thank you very much. I think I have the wrong house. It's the wrong address. Why the pretest now? Wait, wait, wait. When you had it laid upon your interest, said gentleman. Or is this not the other? You are looking for. Yes, madam. Uh, there was a car thieft by 0, 0, 0500 hour. But not by anybody named Joanne or whatever you call him. His name is Mr. Jewel. Mr. Jewel. Jewel. That one was reported by one. One miss. That one was reported by one miss. This is Madoff number. Uh, excuse me. Do you see? Do you see any stolen car? Please, sir. We were both robbed yesterday. His phone was stolen. So was mine. Uh -huh. They even smashed his car. But after that time, I gave him something really important to help me hold. Something that has to do with life and death. That's why I'm looking for his address, sir. All I need is just his address. I've asked your boys downstairs and they said somebody did report his stolen car. Okay. Please, sir, help me. I'm begging you, I don't have any uh, money, but just, okay, so just buy a drink. Share the address you want. Just the address, sir. Please, sir, please. No, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Please, sir. Okay. Uh, anyway, what is the name of the man? Mr. Jewel. His name is Mr. Mr. Jewel. Jewel. Yes, Mr. Jewel. Mr. Jewel. Mr. Jewel. Nurse. Sir, please wait. Nurse, can you... Can Sir, you... I'm also busy. Listen to me, nurse. I'm in a hurry. Okay, I need to give somebody this medication. Can't you see that I'm busy with something? Or is it not the same attention you want me to give you that I'm applying to do what I'm doing right now? Whatever you're doing is paperwork. It can wait. I need to give someone this medication. Yes, excuse me. Yes, doctor. Uh, I got a call from the teaching hospital and I'm going there now. If uh, the woman comes back, the woman with the drug for the child at intensive care, ask her to hold on for me. Okay, doctor. And then, don't bother calling me because I won't stay Yes, doctor. Joel, and I am. There is no way, Mr. Joel, I am going to give that jacket to you. And why not? Because I don't know what is inside. Fine. I'm telling you, whatever is inside is mine. How did I get the medication? Where did I get it from? Mr. Jewel, I do not know you, and I can't give it to you. I'm saying it is, I need the jacket. Jesus Christ! What? Blood? Please, help me call the doctor. Where can I find? Where can I find the doctor? Inquiry desk, please. Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. I am Mr. Joel. Okay, thank you. I don't mean you're Mr. Joel. I mean the other Mr. Joel. No, I am the only Joel in here, so how can I help you? Please, sir, please, sir, please, sir. I've been waiting here since for Mr. Joel. Please, I'm begging you. Mr. Joel is with my child's medication, and my child is in the hospital. He's dying. Please, I'm begging you. Just call him. Let him give me the drugs. Let me go. Madam, my name is Tony Joel. J E W E. No, oh, Mr. Joel, please. Go inside. Call all the jewels that are there. Let me choose the one I'm looking for. Madam, my name is Tony Jewel. J-E-W-E-R. So please, if you have a problem, go and sort yourself out. What's happening? You want my child to die? What is happening? Madam, just, just sit down. I can't sit down. It's just okay. Go in. Call the remaining Mr. Jewel that are inside there. Let me see all of them. I'll be pointing Mr. Jewel I'm talking about. Madam, I'm confused. I am Mr. Jewel. So if you're looking for any other Jewel, it's not clear. But I'm the only jewel, Tony Jewel, in this place. So sit down, calm down, and tell me what's going on, please. So, hey, Mom. how was your trip, son? Fine, Mom. Where's Linda? She'll be somewhere inside. Mom. Is Crown of God discharged from the hospital yet? <laughs> well, to the best of my knowledge, no. To the best of your knowledge, no. What do you mean by that? Chris, can we talk about more important things, please? Mom, what could be more important than the delicate health condition of your grandchild? <sighs> Mom, what's wrong with you? What has come over you? You don't talk to me like that. I will talk to you anyhow. Otherwise, you give me a reason for being so indifferent to the plight of your grandchild. Other than your, your, your gratuitous suspicion on his helpless mother. You shouldn't be ridiculous, Christine. Mom, you're the one who's being ridiculous. Linda. What's the latest on Crown of God's illness? Hmm. I have no idea. Stop asking me. You have no idea? Mom, did you hear that? <laughs> what amazement. Mom, are you doing this because George is not your biological son? You shouldn't be ridiculous, Christian. You are the one who is being ridiculous. Otherwise, you give me a reason why you are being so wicked and indifferent. You are being wicked and you are exercising the highest level of, 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 of bestial savagery I've ever seen. I can see that you are insane. Better than being wicked. And you, Linda. You're not yet man yet. Mom! Is he calling me or what? What's the meaning of that? Don't him. Don't find him and stupidity. <laughs> Let me see that prescription again. Okay, please. Bolso, Bolso, Bolso. Is this Boscopan or Bosofan? Oh, God, I don't know. I'm not a medical practitioner. It must be Boscopan because we don't have Boscopan. Oh, please. Just give me the medicine the way they wrote it in the prescription. Well, we don't have any drug by that name, Bosofan. All we have is Boscopan. Please, what about the others? We don't have them equally. Then why did you stop me now? Do you understand when I say a child is dying? Do you quickly get that the doctor is not available? So call him! I said I cannot! That's what I'm saying. Who is this doctor that you can't call him when there is emergency? I dare you walk out of me! So let's take it easy now. How can I take it easy when the child is dying? Excuse me, Emma. What, what, what's wrong with you people in this place? Good day, sir. I am looking for my nephew. His name is Crown. Okay, take your left up the stairs. They are in the intensive care ward, sir. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome. Nurse, call the doctor. You gotta call the doctor. Is 
Deborah? Where's his mother? I don't know. She's, she's been out since morning for some prescribed medication. She left it somewhere. How is he doing? Deborah, Jesus, did you notice it's dripping through the nose? It's, it's been dripping since morning. I've been cleaning it. And where are the doctors and the nurses? We've been trying so hard to convince the nurses to call him on phone to come here. He's not been around. Dr. Jude, right? I think so. Oh. Hello? Yeah, man, Jude. Jude, please. You have to rush down to your hospital right away. My nephew is dying here and there are no nurses. Nobody's here. Okay. Please, in the name of God, hurry up. Hurry up. Yeah, thank you. He says he's going to call his way. Okay. Christ. Such a goddamn place. So annoying. How did he end up in, in, in this place that you call a hospital? Hello? Hello, man. You're the guy I saw downstairs? Are you Ada's husband? Uh, no, I am her, her brother-in-law. And you? Oh, good, good. My name is Joel. I, I came to pick up my jacket. You know, I, I have something important in there. I, I brought uh, the little boy's uh, medication. I met Ada yesterday on my way to Enugu. I think her car broke down. I was trying to help. But, bro, uh, was I, it because of him you were having quarrels downstairs? Yes. Those crazy nurses. No. No. Look, we... What's happening here? What kind of a hustle is this? Look, I have to get back at Jude. They can't be this on serious and leave my nephew to die? Oh my god. Hello, Jude. Please, you have to drop whatever it is you're doing and rush down here. My nephew is dying, please. If you're not going to come here now, I'll have to take him away. No. No. No, 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 no. What happened? Calm down, Adat. Nothing has happened. Debra, I asked you to take care of my son. What happened to him? He's fine. No. He's fine. fine. No. Mr. Joa. It's fine. It's the truth. What they are saying is the truth. I, I even brought the drugs too, but the doctor said because of the time wasted, they, they have to just do some checks on it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm. I'm are you, I've been looking for you everywhere. I have been looking for you everywhere as well. I went to every clinic, every hospital, just trying to find you. Have you settled the, the falls you have with your wife now? That's why I'm here. My jacket. The DNA result is in there and she doesn't know me. So Please, Deborah, the jacket is his. He's helped me so much for one day. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, I have things to sort out. Yeah, so I'll be going. Good, good luck on the board. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, man. Take care. Thanks, where is he? Where are you? Where are you? We can't see him yet. Sit down. You can see. Sit down. It's fine. Let me just see. How no, no, no. no, please. I told you he's fine. Just calm down. You're wide. You're going to see him. Please. Did you see him? Yes, he's fine. He's fine. I have always known that this our marriage wouldn't last. But I kept faith, put in my best until now that you have irretrievably tore it apart. 
So what more can I do if not to carry on with my life? At least you have nothing to lose. I'm the one who's lost everything. My family, my good paying job, and almost my life. All in showing you love and trying to make our marriage work. You've, not, you've got nothing to lose, I said. Your son is there, and your ever-caring and possessive family would also be there for you. So that's why I just have to back off and try to pick up the pieces of my life. I am headed right now to Lagos, from where I'll catch the next available flights to the UK. Thank God I did not lose my citizenship as well. So Jua, thanks for teaching me a lot about life and trust. My only regret is that I did not get the honor and respect I deserved as someone who sacrificed a lot for us. In your scheme of getting rid of me, something like an honorable dismissal would have been okay for me, Joel. But all the same, thanks. Give me the chance. Can you give me the chance to explain this all right here? The result is ready. Out of bed. Out of my baby. But the result's right here. It's all right here. I went through hell to get you this. Went through hell. How long is this checkup going to take? It's been a while. And I've told you to calm down. They're going to be out in a while. Just calm down. Yes, take it easy, okay? Nos, Nos, please. We've been waiting here since they said they are doing checkup. How long will it take? Doctor. Uh, Chris, how's madam, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. How is he? Um, Christian. I'm listening now. Wait. Yeah. How is he doing? Couldn't make it. What? Take heart, okay? Take heart. Anna, you did your best. We all did our best. But well, you know what they say? God's will always prevails. He was my life. He was my heart. But I have to take heart, though. God gives and takes. Why didn't you just listen to me this last time? Why didn't he just grant my heart desire and leave crown alone? He was my strength. He was my heart. Mom. Baby. Mom. Mom. Baby. My crown is gone. My I, crown is gone. Mom. I heard. I just came in last night. Baby, you have to be strong. Okay? Oh, Susan. Hi, Edna. You're welcome. Thank you. Good day, Ma. Thank you, Chris. Welcome, Ma. Thank you. Oh, Deborah. Thank you so much for your support. May God bless you for me. 
Okay. Yes, you too, ma. You know what pain me most, mom? Crown and I suffered so much wickedness before he died. I named him Crown. I named him Crown because I felt his birth was the death of it all. I was wrong. I wanted him to leave and make me victorious, mom. That was all I wanted. Just oh. Come on, baby. You still won. No, mother. <laughs> if I won, then where is crowd? Where is crowd? I lost. I lost and I lost woefully. I just lost. You don't talk like that, Ada. You don't talk like that. Don't you dare tell me how to talk. You hear me? Don't you dare! Dora, my God. Edna. Please calm down. Excuse me. Hell no. I will not come down to this sort of impunity. Madam, please. Madam. Mom, don't go in there. No, Mom. Madam. No, we're not going to do this now. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bless us, O Lord, and this thy gift. Which we are bound to receive from the bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Mother, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. That young man has finally destroyed my daughter. Honey. I know that he is not dead, but he must be languishing in prison somewhere overseas because of his drug deals. You will suffer. Dad, Mom, please, can we just eat? Look, Dixon, if you have appetite, please eat. Don't expect me to eat when I know that my daughter is in danger. Dad, please, let's just eat. Shut up. You're sitting down there asking me to eat. When I was fighting tooth and nail to ensure that this idiot does not take away my daughter, what did you and your mother do? Both of you were sitting on these very seats, telling me how unreasonable I was. Now look at the situation. Dad, a good Christian does not discriminate. And that's exactly what you're doing. A good father should be so concerned about his daughter's happiness. Listen to me. I'm a knight of the church and I must adhere punctiliously to the doctrines of my faith and it must remain that way because I belong to the one and only apostolic faith. Honey, <clears throat> shouldn't you just try and see if you can come to terms with the demands of the present situation? For how long are you going to nurse this malice against our son-in-law? Forever. And let me tell you something, Edna. That idiot is not my son-in-law. He stole my daughter against my consent and married her in a church that defied the marriage canons of my own faith. And you are asking me to accept him. Of course I will not. Dad, the marriage yes. canon of your church should not strive to sow disunity and divide amongst people created by one and only God. Otherwise, your church cannot be said to be holy and one in the actual sense of oneness. Joseph, your daughter just lost her only child. And if you ask me, I'll say that what she deserves from you is heartfelt sympathy. No matter in which church or denomination she's married in. All right. I've had both of you. Let us eat. Aren't you going to lay your head down at Cassie's sleep? I was wrong. Honestly, Edna, I was wrong. 
If I had stuck to my position, I'd be you and fought that young man with every ounce of my strength. And I wouldn't have come to this mess, quite honestly. Darling, please. Darling, please. That's all you're going to tell me. Darling, please. What do you think I should say? Believe in your line of thoughts that Ada's marriage to George is responsible for Crown's death? Yes. Because that marriage was not ordained by God in the first place. Come on, darling, don't be ridiculous. What do you mean, don't be ridiculous? Okay, sorry. Don't be fanatical. You don't need to be a fanatic, darling. Marriage is marriage, irrespective of the denominations. Sweetheart, misfortunes are bound to happen. Look, if an ordained man of God had officiated at that wedding, this situation couldn't have arisen, and I mean every word of it. So, what you're trying to tell me right now is that my miscarriage of my first pregnancy after a marriage has more to it than meets the eye? Or is there something you're not telling me? What do you mean if there's something I'm not telling you? Like what? Like what? Like that miscarriage. Because a validly ordained man of God officiated at our wedding. Don't be sarcastic. For God's sake, don't be sarcastic. Sweetheart, I just want you to accept the truth. Crown's death had nothing to do with the history of his parents' marriage. Why don't you just accept that fact and, and pray fervently for the repose of that innocent soul? Now that it's all over, I sincerely hope Ada comes to her senses, comes back home as early as possible, and picks up the threads of her life once more. She had to start from the very beginning. So what's your plan now? Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. Is there no conclusive information on George yet? No. I just hear that they say they found the cops. I think the best thing for me is just to have my mind fixed on the fact that he's dead. Come in. Hey. Hi, Linda. Somebody is here to see you. Who? Yes. You. I'll be out in a minute. I was at the hospital and I heard what became of your son. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you very much. Adam. Oh, Hi, Mr. Joe. Um, I'll be leaving. Thank you. So I'll see you later as discussed. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. How's the family? They're, they're fine. Fine. And yours? Your, your mother in law, Chris. Christian is fine. Are you sure you don't want anything to drink? Oh no, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm fine. You know, I must commend you because what you're going through is not easy. I, I totally understand it. Thank you. Hey, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stir up any... Oh, oh, no, no, I mean... Ah. 
No. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Honestly, I'm fine. I mean, don't mind all that. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm very fine. Thank you so much for coming. I honestly appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. It was a pleasure, you know, visiting you. And thank you for hosting me. Anytime. Just know that you have my condolence. Okay. Hey, did you get your phone back on? Oh, yes, I did. Deborah got it for me. Oh, oh I got mine. I think I got it the very next day. My phone is a live wire to my business. I don't, I don't, I don't play with it. Yeah, I think I should go in now. Is he gone? I said, is he gone? Yes, he is. Okay. I was wondering if it indeed will not be an absolute mark of respect for the institution of marriage that these lovers of yours stop coming here to express it all out before our very decent eyes. It is discussious, you know? Yes. Yes, it is. So, are you going to tell them? Or would you have me tell them myself? Which do you prefer? I think you should try to tell them yourself. Because that way, maybe none of them will have to encounter me with the abject mood of friendliness. How have you been coping with that, your savage, recalcitrant stepmother-in-law? Joseph. Edna, can't I express myself in my own house? Must he always be in that tone and on the same subject? It's okay, Mom. It's fine. That's one of the reasons I came here. I made up my mind to move back in here. I mean, I have no reason staying away from home for no one or person in particular. I said it. I said you were never married in the first place and your mother wouldn't believe me. Joseph, please. Edna, please give me a break. Must you keep sounding like a broken record about a marriage of over seven years? Listen, you don't build on nothing and expect to get something. How so can I recognize marriage that did not exist? That never existed? I so very much to Joseph. Joseph, why don't you stand up to it and recognize it? Irrespective of what the marriage has become, after all. I sincerely wish you had yourself. Good. Irrespective of what the marriage has become. You are saying that. Now remember, our Lord said, and I quote, Upon this rock I shall build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Unquote. The young man tried to prevail against it. This is the result. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> oh my God, I said it and he wouldn't believe me. <laughs> it hasn't worked. I, um, well, I, I, was, I, I was thinking if you want to come with me for dinner tonight. Joel, I am, um, I... It's okay. 
It's all right. It's fine. I I I, I was just thinking I could. No, 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 no. I mean, you're not you're not pushing me. What time are you looking at? Dad, I'm coming. I'm online. Sorry about that. What time are you looking at? Well... Thank you very much. You're welcome. And thank you for everything. You're, You're welcome. welcome. I should leave now. Yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Discussing and recalcitrant fusing. Where the hell do you think you're heading to? After that shameless display of immorality with that escort of yours. I beg your pardon. No, not this time. Because we never have my pardon once again in your loose life. Until you guard up your ethics and resist from disgracing the moral rectitude this family is known with. Do you hear me? No. Because you're insulting me. I'm only warning you. But if you want to see insult, dare to display such brazen act of lasciviousness within my house for next time. I will see demon. Mom? What's going on here? Don't ask me. Ask the slot. What? 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 Ada? Ada, wait! Mom? Are you insane? When did it get to this extent? You're calling someone's wife a slot? What's wrong with you? That's what she is. That is the more reason she should be a... Please shut up your mouth! Christian! Oh, you had better not put my widest off limit this night. Mom, you are already off limit. You know what? I think you need to see a psychiatrist. What? What? Did he just say that to me? Did Chris just say that to me? I don't know. I know they usually shut the gate at 9 o'clock. They give an extra 30 minutes grace. But anything from 10 o'clock or past 10, they've all gone to sleep. Okay. Well, um, I want to suggest something and I hope you don't think that I'm, you know, getting into your private life. Um, whatever happened back there, can it, like, you know, wait till tomorrow morning? in terms of your decision you know because by tomorrow morning i'm sure you would have done a proper analysis and make the right decision you know so i want to suggest that i drive you oh back. no 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 please please don't say that please okay so what do we do i can't imagine living without your smile I can't believe it My heart is aching too
Well, well. Mom, I'm here to inform you both that Hada has left after all. Hi. That's good news. Yeah, so. <laughs> what did you say? You had me, Christian. And please, spare me the troubles of a late night hula balloon. Mom, we have to discuss this and it has to be now! Good night, my daughter. Good night, mommy. you feel comfortable the rooms are right through that door okay and that's the dining area obviously can I get you something to drink huh. what is that something in particular that you want to drink How do I make him understand that I am an adult? I can fend for myself. I can make decisions and I'm reliable for those decisions. He won't let me. He wants to be involved in my life. He won't let me go free. He won't let me live my life. He has to let me free. I want to make my own rules. I want to make my own decisions. I want to make my own rules. <sighs> he humiliates me, Joel. He brings me down before people, events. <sighs> I'm 28. I want to, I want to fight for myself. Then I got married. I fell in love with George. We were so much in love with each other. My dad never liked George. Never. He hated him so much. Then George traveled. 
and disappeared. I heard lots of things. Some said he died. Some said he was alive. Some said he drowned. I didn't hear from him for so long. We had a son together. Crown. Crown. That's his name. And then I loved him so much. I stayed. I waited. <laughs> I waited even when they were mean to me. His stepmother. His stepsister. I think I think you you drank too much. Why? <clears throat> All me. All of them were mean to me. I drove to the airport at 1.30 p.m. I mean a.m. at night while I was in labor. I was alone. Nobody, nobody went with me. I drove myself. How do I start? How do I explain to you what I've been through? I've seen it all, Joel. I've seen it all. I've seen love. I've seen pain. I've seen humiliation. I've seen, I've seen loneliness. In a heart. I've seen it all. I've seen all of it. All of it. All. I know it all by their names. I think you've had too much. He has to let me free. I have to move for myself. I have to make decisions for myself. I have to decide. I have to decide for myself. I have to choose. I have to choose. You'll be fine. She got angry and left. I, I don't understand you. She left? Yes, ma'am. Are you saying she's not at your family house right now? No. That's the reason I came. I, I thought maybe she came over. Good morning, sir. Good morning. What brings you this early to my house? He is saying that um, Adora packed some of her things and left last night. To where? To where? Honey, that's exactly what we're trying to figure out now. You better make sure this is none of your own making or you'll be sorry. But I only arrived... I am not interested in your story. Just make sure nothing happens. Listen to me. If anything happens to my daughter, you'll be sorry. Dixon, get me my phone. Honey, let's just take it easy. I am not taking it easy. If anything happens to that girl, Himself and his entire family will test my wrath. You just wait. Get me my phone! Hello, Dad. Adora, is that you? 
Where are you? I'm at a friend's place. Are you alright? Yes, Dad, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'll soon be home. You sure you're alright? It's alright, we'll be expecting you. Bye. Is everything alright? Yes, yes. Somebody told him I wasn't home, so he got to know where I was. Thank you, Estelle. She's alright. She says she'll be here shortly. He's my friend, Joel. His name is Joel. Last night. I was at his place. He came to drop me off, but the gate was locked at that time. Why didn't you go back to the place you call home instead of uh, spending the night in the arms of a total stranger? He's not a stranger to me, Dad. Joseph, why don't you calm down and let her explain to us what happened? Adora. Nothing, more. Just like I told you I was going to be leaving there, I did. Your decision to leave your matrimonial home, does it have anything to do with that young man? Oh, please. Answer the question. Answer the question! Well, no. Apparently. Maybe in the near future. Do you hear that? I mean, how dare you tell me such a thing, apparently? Have you forgotten the sixth commandment that says thou shalt not commit adultery? Have you? But that, I thought you've always held this view that she was never married. Shut up. Besides, all marriages last till death. Or do you still believe George is still alive? For God's sake, shut up! What is it, Dad? What is it you want with my life? Haven't you pushed me long enough already? Don't you think it's time you graciously allowed me space, time, and freedom? How much longer would you want me to live my life for you? You and you alone? God! Did you see the way she spoke to me? I'll be inside. Dixie, what are you still doing there? Come and join the conspiracy. Follow them inside. Go and join them. Say the best. I mean, quitting with judge. Mother, I am sick and tired of living an illusion. Illusion? Assumption. I have to move on with my life. Ada, do you, have you considered how hot he will be if he eventually comes home and realizes that you're now with another man? Mother, the 
fact that you all dropped me off doesn't mean we have anything going. Circumstances made him drop me off. If you care to know, Joel is married. Well, I was just thinking that... You just you made a mistake, Mother. Drop the subject. Yeah. How's the shop doing? Better I pray? I'm listening. Good. Do you think she is right about me? Who? Oh. Her daughter. She thinks I'm very possessive. I've been restricting her movements a lot. Uh, do you think she's right? Well, at some point in a child's life, you need to respect their sense of maturity and trust their choices between right and wrong. Your duty as a, as a parent should be to guide them when necessary and free their minds when appropriate. And I think this is Ada's age of having a free mind. So I suggest we allow her that freedom. I see. In other words, you believe I have been caging her a lot, don't you? I know that sooner or later you will find a way of roping me in on this. Of course you're involved, yes. Involved how? By sabotage. They are reacting the way they are doing because You've been telling them that my teachings are not in their own interest. Joseph, please. Don't just Joseph please me. Look, Edna, let's face it. Hmm? I'm in prayer. Oh. <laughs> my dear Edna is in prayer once more. All right, St. Edna. Pray hard so that I don't get affected by your faint will. Amen. Good. Good. What do you want? Now, please, I'm looking for the people in this house. From village? Yes, from village. Okay, wait, let me go and call them. So, what is your name?
Mom, um, where's everybody? I mean, where's my wife and my baby? <sighs> Sit down. Yeah, Mom. Yes, I'm here. I can hear you. Um, dinner for tonight. That will be a little hectic. Or, um, hold on a second, hold on a second. My mother is inviting me for dinner tonight at the family house. Sure, you can go. Yeah, cool. Hello? Mom, yes, it's a deal. You've got yourself a deal. You, myself, and someone special I want you to meet. 8 p.m. Uh, hold on. Is 8 p.m. good? Me? No, I'm, I'm, I'm not going with you. Why aren't you going? I already told her yes. No, 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 you can't, you can't possibly tell her yes. I mean, I can't go. No, but baby. She's on the line. I'm not going to go the through this emotional blackmail with you. Please, come on. Uh, yeah, mom, mom, just, just hold okay, on one second. Tell, I'm trying to sort something yes. out, okay? Tell her yes. What? Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 mom. You, me, and yes, someone shut special, up yes. Him. What? Shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yes, mom. Okay, yes, we'll be there. Yeah, love you, bye. I was shouting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. How'd you like to do that? I'm sorry. My mom is a wonderful lady. You will love her. That's like laying an ambush for me. Sorry. How are you? I'm doing well. Dixie! Dixie! Yes, mom. Get the door. Bro, George! Bro, George! <laughs> George! Oh, God, may your name be praised. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're welcome. Hi. Honey? Honey? Yes? You're welcome. George. Bless you, never changes. That was why he has kept you alive even when everybody else thought otherwise. Welcome, my dear. Welcome. Welcome. Dixon, make him feel at home, okay? It's okay? There's food in the kitchen. I'll be right back. Oh, God. Come on, bro. Just sit down and make yourself comfortable, okay? Let me just run in and get you something to drink. No, DK, wait. See, I'm not thirsty. All I want now is to see my family. Where is that and my baby? boy was presumed dead. I don't care. Just give me a break. Did you understand simple English? Give me a break! Okay. Please, can I use your phone? Oh my God. Use my phone. Use my walking stick. Use anything you want, but just give me a break. She wants me home now. Now like now? Yeah, now like now. She sounded a bit worried. Okay, so we go? Yes, please we go.
It's okay, George. It's okay. Why wouldn't my stepmom tell me? What, what, what did she have to shift the pork by asking me to come over to this place? Why? Why? Maybe she isn't brave enough to cause you pain. Indeed. Mommy, is there anything you're not telling me? Is there anything I'm supposed to know? George, the truth is that Crown died of leukemia. That's just the truth. George. George. Why? If I may ask. Mother, I just need some time off. Can you just leave me alone for a minute? Brother, are you okay? I'm fine! Joy, can you just tell me what happened? Mother, I know you care about me. But you need to know when to back off. I need a little time on my own, please. I need a minute. Brother? Don't call me! Joel! What? The table is set. I'm not eating anymore. I'm not hungry. Go ahead and eat. Mom, I don't just understand. Did he just come to this place just to pick on us? I think something is wrong with my son. And I need to talk to him. Hell no. No, Mom, you can't go to his place this night. You can't see him today. Can't you see that he's not himself? That's more reason why I shouldn't see him. He might not be heading to his house. Mom. You don't have to see him this night. He might not even talk to you. Just look at the way he walked out of you. Are you sure you're playing this house? From all wrongs comes strength. The strength of forgiveness. That, honey, is what you need to pull up at this moment. Those two have been through a lot. You know that, sweetheart. The grief of their son's death is enough to draw pity from every human soul. But no. The grief he inflicted on me by stealing my daughter is enough for me to hate him for the rest of his life. I am a knight of the church. Now imagine the scandal, the shame, the trauma, for God's sake. I've had to endure all this. And just when I thought that the storm had blown over, in comes this idiot like a bad coin to hunt me. And, and you're telling me... What are you doing? Honey? 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 Young man, what are you doing here? I've told you I don't want to see you here again. Let me warn you. 
If you come to this place again, whatever happens to you, don't blame me. Please leave. Now, that's done. Now! Sorry, son. Just let him be. I don't know what has come over him. It's all right, it's okay. He's my son, right? Let me talk. <clears throat> yeah. Ah, so, what do you want us to talk about? A lot, Dad. Mm hmm. One? Dad, I'm surprised at you. Why? Can you be this hard on George after eight years of marriage to my sister? She was never married to him. Two? Okay, the key word here is eight years. That eight years of unflinching cold war. Eight years of hostility and brutality. All in the defense of our church doctrine. Dad, does it really make sense? Of course it does. Makes a lot of sense. Go on. Okay, as you justify your jihad, what would you say about those of our brothers who go as far as Killing, all in the name of God. Are you any different from them? Oh yes, I am different. One, I have never killed anybody in the name of religion. Two, I don't go about burning places of worship. And you see the difference now? Okay. After two years of the shirad called marriage, I try to reconcile myself with that pain. I was getting used to that situation when the young man disappeared. He turns up like a bad coin after six years to inflict more trauma on me by wanting to take Adora again. I will not take that. Oh yes, I will not take that. Dad. Yes? If you think that by tomorrow when I am ready to go back to my husband's house, you're going to stop me? Adora. No, 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 Edna, come on. Let that urchin talk and insult me. She's my daughter after all. Go on, heap it on me, come on. Like I was saying, Dad, I am going back to my husband's house tomorrow. And God save whomever it is that tries to stop me. Whomever, Dad. Whomever. Edna, I'm sorry for your daughter. Yes, I am. I'm sorry for your daughter. Mom, Linda, and even you, Chris. Chris, you were here, and these people subjected my wife to such a straits. Calm down, bro. Look, I tried the best I could. Oh, you tried your best. Your best wasn't good. Your best wasn't good enough. God damn it, it wasn't good to keep my family intact. So had I died, Chris. Had I died. This would have been it, right? George, your wife got out of hand. Oh, don't give me that scrap! What about my son? My son got out of life, isn't it? Isn't it? My son suffered hate. He suffered hate from the people that were meant to be his own people. He suffered till he died. I put my life online for the betterment of everybody. I solved shelter. I solved hunger as much as I could. I tried to restore peace to this family by breaking the barriers that polygamy has placed over us. And this is what I get. This is what I get from the people I call my own people, my family. George. Oh, shut up. You've got to hear us. Oh, don't you dare mention my name, mom. Don't you. I don't even know why I'm calling you mom because you're supposed to be my mom. You've got to hear us now.
Yeah, hello? Yeah, Peter, hi. No, no, no. Everything is fine, I'm fine. <clears throat> and you? Cool. Hey, um, Peter, can you do me a favor? I need you to get me a UK visa. No, 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 no. let's cha change it to Canada. Can you? Like, like ASAP, like yesterday. Okay, man. Okay, do what you can for me. I just need to get out of here. You know? No, no, everything is fine. I'm out. It's good. All right, man. Thanks. I appreciate it. Good night. So how are you? I'm fine. Fine, thank you. Joel, I want to explain what happened at my place yesterday. There's no need to explain. I know what happened. I was there. I saw it. Your husband, whom has been gone away for a very long time, and you presume dead is back, right? I still need to explain to you, Joel. I don't think it's necessary. I'm moving in with him. I don't intend to hurt you, but what happened between us was an accident. Accident? An accident is what you call it? I an never meant before. for it to happen. But it happened. It happened. And we had a good thing going. We had a bond going. With no regrets. Not unless you're telling me you were playing me all along. I wasn't playing you all along. Then? I've been married to George before. Yes. We're married. And now he needs my help. Because he wants to start life afresh again. Joel, I don't want you to think that after losing your wife because you wanted to help me, I didn't appreciate it. I do. But I can't afford to let George go now. You're a good man. And I feel so terrible if I broke your heart. Honestly. I understand. I understand. I understand. I'll be fine. I hope you will be. I'll be fine. Joel, believe me when I say that you are a good man. You are every woman's dream. Thank you. I should leave now. Yeah. Be happy, yeah. Sir, your son came to brief me about the ugly development between you and your daughter ever since she married that young man. Point of correction, Father. They're not married. Joseph. Listen, don't interrupt me. Father is here. We must call the fact will be made available to him. Father, they are not married. He took her away and they did some kangaroo something at the court which they called marriage which I did not consent to and I refuse to recognize as marriage. Why? But I'm surprised at you. You're asking me why? I'm sorry if I do upset you sir but with all due respect a marriage that is validly certified 
by civil authorities is a marriage, irrespective of the fact that they did not go to the church to perform sacrament of matrimony. The marriage is highly recognized by civil society. Father, I do not serve the civil societies. I serve the one and only through God, who revealed himself to us through the ministry of his church. That one and only true God, sir, instructed us in his holy book to obey civil authorities. And his only son, Jesus Christ, recognized this by attending a civil marriage that was performed at Canaan in Galilee, where he turned water into wine by providing the best wine for the celebrant when he ran out of drinks. Wait a minute, Father. What you're telling me is that we Catholics, particularly those of us who are knights, should simply fold our arms and watch these morally bankrupt Protestants who even endorse same-sex marriages to take our daughters from us and drag them into perdition in what they call marriage. Is that what you're trying to make me understand? No, I'm not saying that. Uh, what I'm saying is this, sir. Who eats, do not condemn who abstains. It is only our Lord that will bring to light what is hidden in darkness. Show your children the way of a life, good will of life, and they will follow it. They will never, never depart from it. This one deviated. I taught her the right things she ought to know, but she permitted herself to be influenced by other things outside the family. And this is why she's on this mess. I think I did my best, Father, as a knight of the church. Even so, sir, the way of the Lord is not the way of a man. The strength of the love that you will show to them could bring that young man back to church. Love, Christ said, is the greatest commandment. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. He did not say love a good neighbor. He did not say love a good denomination neighbor. He said love your neighbor as you love yourself. See that young man as a son and as a neighbor. Pray for him and your daughter and leave every other thing about denomination to God who said that the gate of hell shall not prevail against his church. And everything will be in control, sir. Father, I just remember that I forgot to show you love like my neighbor when you came in. I'm sorry for that, Father. Edna, get Father a bottle of wine to take home. Thank you, Father. We usually sell to our place of market in a boat other than road because of the increasing presence of the police people and other law enforcement agents. So uh, on this day it was very unfortunate. We didn't know that the Colombian government has displaced the guerrilla anti-government guerrilla fighters. So they all relocated to the to settle at the coast where we operate. Where is your spot? Baby, please let's not go there. Let's not just talk about it. Please. It's behind. We agreed. At least now that it's over, I think it's the right time for you to tell me everything. Tell me. Where is your spot? See, darling, when I went back, my shop was raided. I had nothing else to lean on. You had nothing to lean on. My boutique, your child I was carrying at that time. You have nothing to lean on. Do you know what you've done? Yeah, I know. 
I know, but... You know? How could you possibly know what I went through on account of your disappearance? How could you know? Baby, I'm really sorry. I understand, but... It... You don't understand. How can you possibly understand what it feels like to have your son die in your arms and be there and watch and be able to do little or nothing? How could you possibly understand that? How? You see, baby, I was under pressure. I had the motive of making life more meaningful for our only child. Not on the detriment of our lives. Not on the detriment of our joy. Not on the detriment of our strength. You. You, George, you are our strength. You took that away from us for six years. Six years, George. Six years. We were selling to our point of market. What, what, what were you dealing on? Daddy. In all honesty, I have to be sincere to you. I don't do it again. I mean, I don't involve myself again. So I have to tell you what I was doing. I, I was dealing on drugs. Good. All right, good. So we are selling to a point of market oblivious that the terrorists have relocated to that place. Like a thunder flash. They surfaced from under the waters where they were keeping surveillance. And the commander that was guiding us opened fire on them. So they retaliated and in a twinkle of an eye, five of my men were down and dead. I was shot, so I, I, I fell into the river. Later they rescued me and three other men that jumped into the river in a bit to escape. They took us to their camp as hostages. One of us that understands their local language said they were suspecting. They, 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 they had this feeling we are we, we spies from the government. So they kept us in a room for 16 days without food and water. That we were under severe torture. Mm. Severe torture. They, they were believing maybe on the course of the torture we will confess that we are spies because they were fighting the government. After our detention, they conscripted us, trained us, handed us guns. We are in charge of ambushing and killing unsuspecting government forces. <clears throat> On one of the occasions, we were not aware that the government forces knew of our ambush. <clears throat> so they set trap for us with three of their men as against 50 elsewhere and we're only ten. Daddy. They massacre they they kill they kill those like flies. Mm. So living I and one other juvenile they conscripted too. So we surrendered and handed over our guns. So they, they took us, charged us with treason and Terrorist activity. So we are found guilty and condemned to death. So while we are in detention and waiting our execution, I met another young man whom I never knew was a son to one of the top government officials. There were some prisoners who were planning to execute the boy as a way of getting back at the father for the reforms he made that landed them in the prison. Mm -hmm. The night they were to execute their plans, I was busy trying to obtain some, some cheese from the young lad. So 
when they came, I had to put my gorilla training to practice. I don't know how it happened, but I killed two of them and one of them fled. This was happening around March and we were supposed to be executed in April. Mm. On the day of our execution, there was a fiat putting on hold our execution. Sometime around June, I was called to the prison marshal's office. Mm. And the man in his little English speaking ability said, you have, grant, you have granted pardon. <laughs> I didn't understand what he was saying. In fact, till he offered me a handshake mm -mm. and said, when one to go. <laughs> that was when it dawned on me that something miraculous was taking place. The next thing I found myself was in Nigeria. Hmm. Congratulations, son. Well, this certainly was a miracle, if you ask me. Well, that goes to show you that once God is behind you, you can get through any kind of ordeal for as long as you try to keep straight. God wants you to turn your life around. That's why he uh, rescued you. Otherwise, I don't think that God specializes in rescuing drug dealers. So congratulations, sir. Um, it won't happen again. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. Mm. Your people never allowed me to get to know you and appreciate you. They made me despise you every inch of the way because of the cruelty they inflicted on my daughter. Such unimaginable savagery. Ask her, she's sitting by your side. Dad, that's necessary now. Don't tell me what is necessary, daughter. Don't. Honey, just listen to her. No, there's nothing to listen to. We came here for reconciliation, didn't we? Yes. Mm -hmm. But what you're saying is not going to reconcile. Mm -hmm. It will only tear George and his family apart. Listen, Edna. George requires to know the truth. Do you know that on the night your wife had a baby, that she drove herself to the hospital at 1 a.m.? Your stepmother was aware of this. Your stepsister, they never assisted her at all. But they were expecting her to die in the hospital. But that's not all. Your son, Spent two weeks in the hospital. Her stepmother, her stepsister, none of them went to visit her daughter and commiserate with her. Dad. That goes to tell you the nature of the people you refer to as family. Dad, Christine was with us all through the day, Crown died. With her daughter. What about other days? Mm -hmm. I mean, what about the days before he died? Was he there? With Look, there are many things that happened in your absence, but. I don't want to spoil your appetite. Let's just eat. Do 
George! Is everything all right? Mom, I'm right about to find out. Is it true that you were calling my wife as prostitutes and you, Linda? You have to take it easy. This will not solve anything. Son, you've got to calm down. Let's talk about this. Don't you freaking ask me to calm down! Answer my question! Were you ever referring to my wife as a prostitute, a whore, floozy, or whatever word you used against her? My love, your mother and I had a misunderstanding, but it wasn't anything serious. I mean, we just... Don't you dare lie to him, you psychophant. Yes, son. Yes. I did call her a floozy. And that's exactly what her behaviors within these spices are proving her to be. How dare you? How won't I dare, young woman? Oh, you didn't tell him? Oh. You didn't tell him about those mirrors of men that come in here looking for you. Men? What men? It's true, isn't it? Will you shut up your mouth before I do it for you? Listen, George. Whatever you hear from this two cannot be anything but a grand conspiracy to conceal the despicable things they did against your wife and crown. Christian! Don't Christian me, mom. Let me speak the truth. Look, we have to trash this here and now. There's always a day of reckoning, you know? And I want today to be your own day of reckoning. A day you will prove the kind of love you have for George as a son. When his son was admitted in the hospital for two weeks. Two weeks, mom. And you sat down here complacently without even bothering to visit him once until he died. Christian. You don't speak those things against me, your mother. What? I don't speak the truth? Wait, is that what you want from me as a son? That I don't speak the truth as it concerns your misdeeds? No, Mom. No! I think I'm, I'm beginning to get a clear picture of who I am in this family. You had better have a rethink. If you think you can rip off this family apart, the history of its peace and union is way beyond what you can destroy. Do you hear me? I had a dog back. I wonder, was that you? What's this day? Myself, a dog? And you merely watch her leave, Linda. Oh, please, there are bigger issues to talk about rather than what you and that are that talking about. What? No, it has not. Of course it has. It has. See, and don't you dare tell me it has no when I freaking know it has. Why, why, why am I always the one putting my life online, paying the price for peace in this family? Why? Why is it like this? I put in patience. I put in silence, even when I'm supposed to be vocal. I enslave my life out all for the good of everybody. And what do I get in return? You turn it around and throw it to me. Listen, listen, bro. Yeah, yeah, I, I know you are angry. And of course you have every right to be. But it would be so unfair of you to, to categorize me in that case that I don't care any longer. I don't care any longer. See, I've had it to this place. And I, 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 I feel like throwing up. George, listen, you're my brother. We can always work things out. Two months. Two months. Mom, I had no problem with the kid. To think that I earlier planned to go see him in the hospital, but you, you have a way of scheming people out of their planned activities. Will you shut up, you silly little girl? I don't want your hand from your pocket. You are talking to me. Look who is talking about scheming. 
where you can hardly differentiate your left from your right. Oh. It's funny you should mention different shades. Because, Mom, I remember that night vividly. That night, Ada was in labor. I wanted to help her. But no, you pulled me back. I said, keep quiet. Chris, I have better not hear about this. And this little girl. What? Mommy! Keep quiet. No! No, Mom, leave her alone. One more word from you, and God bear me witness if you don't get to bed right away in the emergency ward of any nearby hospital. And you call me a bastard. Listen, this figure the little girl talk to me. There is nothing to talk about. There is absolutely nothing to talk about. You just get ready. Pack your things and be ready to leave this house between now and the next two months, both of you. You've got to be kidding me, right? Yeah, right. Fine. I am kidding you. For now I am. But in the next two months, I wouldn't be. saying all those things before my husband. Did anything go wrong? Answer my question, Dad. Are you out of your mind? You walk into this place even without greeting your father, you begin to query him so rudely? Are you mad? Honey, honey, please I, come. I will not, Dad, until you answer my question. I said, where are you off to? To the war base. For what? For what? To rebuild what you destroyed last night. Edna, come back here. Come back here! This woman always forgets that I pay the rent in this house. Come on, please. Edna, please. Don't tell me. I forbid you from going to George's house to discover the merits and the demerits of the treatment he gave to that savage, cruel, tamagant woman. Please. Dad, what do you want? Why do you always want to be in control of other people's lives? No, you are wrong there. Because you are so naive to look after yourself, I have decided to look after you. Besides, that woman 
punished you so much, you know that. You have made me go through so much more, Dad. Leave her for me to worry about. Why can't you set people free to live their lives and make their decisions by themselves? Make decisions and be liable for those decisions. What do you want, Dad? You want to act like you care? You want to act like you care so much? That has always been your style. That is exactly what you did to Victor until he lost it. Leads his life to violent crimes all in a bit to be free from you. You realize what you're saying? Yes, Dad. I am telling you what nobody in this house is bold enough to tell you. That what happened to Victor is and will always be your fault. I don't know your father is like Oh, let him be, Mother. Let him be. He has to be made to realize the consequences of his actions. Victor, your first son, killed himself because he wanted to be free from you. Now I ask you, Father, is that what you want to have me do? Reverend, you are saying this. Edna? Honey, don't mind her. You'd better mind me, Mother. Because the earlier you begin to mind me, the better. Unless, of course, you're ready to lose another child, all in a quest to be free from your entanglements. Worst and most unfair judgment that has ever been passed on me. You're talking about Victor, my son. Victor that I give every part of my life to ensure that... Honey? That Victor... Adora, you have hurt me a lot. Honey? You have hurt me a lot. Are you okay? What's happening to you? Uh, uh, get, get me a doctor. Get me a doctor. Please. What happened to that? I mean, Mom called me. What happened? Mom, what happened? The doctor is attending to him at the intensive care unit. Mom, please. What exactly happened to him? I don't know what came over your sister. What? You're going to blame me over this now? Just keep quiet. Can someone please talk to me? She went all the way. Raving and ranting that it was for his quest for freedom from your dad. That Victor went into crime and subsequently got killed. Jesus Christ. You said all that to him, sis? Yes, I did. I did because that is the truth. It's not the truth for goodness sake. Sis, can't you just start being fair for once? Enough, both of you. This is a public place. That's an unfair and cruel thing for you to have said to that. After all he has been through, trying to get Victor out. Sis, he's company all me. Shut up! Shut up, you idiot! The Victor we're talking about here is my first child ever. And let nobody, let nobody remind me of what took me an age to put behind me. Please. Relaxed here. Where did you go? I had to go and get airtime so I could inform George. You should have told somebody you got us all worried. I'm sorry. I never intended to. How is he? He's still there. He has not spoken a word yet. Dad, I'm really sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I'm sorry. Adora, don't start. I swear, I swear, Mom. I never meant to hurt him. I never meant to. Dixon, pull her off. For what, Mom? I love her. I'm not saying she shouldn't apologize, but look at the man she's talking to. He doesn't even know we're here. I do. He said something. Dad. Dad. Can, can you hear us? I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry. The way you spoke to me nearly shattered my heart. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry. 
No, sweetheart, you're not. You're fine. I am. I am. I am. Prison is here now. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm very sorry. Put yourself to be okay. Don't put yourself to be I have entered Coming out is not an easy task mm -hmm. I am turning Lord, between two worlds I don't know where to start George I thank you for your support you're welcome, sir. Mm. I'm so far from where I know I should have been. Mm. I'm incomplete. My emotions have failed me again. Oh. Am I all alone? Am I all alone? Can somebody out there hear me cry? Is anybody home? Am I on my own? Can someone be Daddy? I'm so sorry I hurt you. I never intended to. I promise. I promise never to hurt you again. I swear. No, you don't have to say that. I swear by my life. Mm -mm. You don't have to say that. You don't have to swear. Everything I did, I thought I was doing in your own interest. I never intended to hurt you. You see, there is more to life than just living. And this is why when Victor came along, Victor... Daddy, it's okay. All right. I'm taking it easy. But remember, darling, the race for heaven must be sustained. Daddy, you have to take things easy. We don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you. We've lost too many people already. It's all right. It's okay, you see. I did my best for you. When Victor came and do everything and that's why I'm not so happy with him. Daddy, mm. we love you. And we appreciate the way you brought us up in a Christian way. I'm sorry about all my mistakes. The pregnancy, the marriage. You see, darling, we're all human. And we make our mistakes. Yeah, but it's all in the past now. Mm? Um, I know that George must be extremely lonely. Why don't you go and join him? He's with mom. Yes, he may be with mom, but it's not mom that he married. It was you he uh, took away. And, um, you know, I offered him an opportunity to meet a priest confess his sins but he he rebuffed the idea and finally wasted his life but it's okay you can go and meet George George is lonely he's waiting for you you wouldn't be needing anything um I don't think so um I just want to be left alone so I see if I can uh, catch some sleep because I'm really tired Good night, Daddy. It's all right. Good night. 
and then tell George I'm saying good night. Uh, have a good time, but I just sincerely hope that both of you don't stay out late. <laughs> we promise. All right. And I love you too. It's alright. Now you can go out there and enjoy George. I think he's quite lonely. <laughs> I also decided uh, the wedding will be taking place in a few months' time. George, I hope you're not under any kind of tension. Oh. You don't need to please anyone, you know. Oh, no, Mom. It's not about pleasing anybody. It's a personal decision. As long as it will not rouse more tension. More no tension? No way. Because I've also decided the wedding will be taking place in your church. Are you serious? What's that? You're having your wedding in a church? <laughs> Who said that? I'm so sorry I hadn't told you earlier. That's splendid. Yes, I think it is. Go and inform your father. It will help his recovery. No, no, mom. He is sleeping right now. We'll tell him tomorrow. Besides, he doesn't want us to stay out late. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I, I'm almost true. I think mom has something to tell me. No, I'm done. I just want you to reconsider your stance. Think about it. They are still your family. I'll think about it. Think? Do what you're told, silly. <coughs> are you okay? No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I'll handle it. What are you saying? Mom. Hello, baby. You on the phone? Oh, yes, I'm with my mother. My mother? Okay, uh, I'll be outside then. Sure, sure. Mom? Yes, yes. Mother, please, can you possibly relax? I still have a grip on my system. Please. 
It looks like mom could swear about my wife's infidelity. Don't you think? Look, Judge. If this is all about mom says about your wife, then I think you should disregard it and focus your mind on more important things. Oh, really? Yeah. Chris. Yeah? Have you been sleeping with my wife? George. What do you mean by that? Answer the damn question because you heard me. No, for Christ's sake. Hey, why would you even think that in the first place? Because I don't understand why you should go out of your way to defend her. Even when it's becoming obvious and glaring. So I figured it out that probably you guys have been scratching each other's brain behind me. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. I mean, this is not right. Okay, I, I I might not understand what you mean by becoming so glaring, but hey George, it's absurd for you to think that I would be involved with your wife behind you. What do you take me for? Well, I'm sorry if that threw you the bad light, but something is not right. I mean, something is not clear. <sighs> With what? With wife. How do you mean? I think my wife is pregnant. Yes. yes. The result available to me here, yeah, madam, shows that you are pregnant. Two weeks. There's your copy. You know him, don't you? Who? The father. Now. Ah, no, <laughs> Let me breathe. Let me breathe. Uh, Abigail. Yes, mom. Go in and fix something for him. Right. Oh, mom, I'm okay. I just had lunch. Are you sure? Yes, just had lunch, and uh, I just came to tell you that my Canada visa is out, and I'm leaving tomorrow. I thought you gave up uh, this Canada trip a long time ago. Yes, I did, but some reasons came up, and I, and I had to pursue it again. And you're just telling me? What is wrong with you, Joel? Why do you like to detach yourself away from us? Mom, please. Let's not go down this road, please. So, brother, are you telling us that you're traveling tomorrow? All I want to ask you is, if there's any way offended you, let me know. And I'll ask you for forgiveness. Mom, you didn't do anything wrong. And there's nothing to forgive. Mom, just know that you are the best mother a son can have. 
if I'm the best mother, so why do you stay away from me? Mama, please, not again. Not again, please. Please, smile. Remember that song I used to sing for you? Pretty woman, put a smile on your face. Pretty woman, come on! <laughs> You're such a blessed son. Uh, Look, are you sure you don't want to eat anything? I made a very nice porridge. And I know you like it. Uh, Abigail, yes, just go in and get him a little portion of that porridge, okay? Yeah. Just go. Bro, should I? Yeah, you heard what your mother said, yes. Mother said I should get out of here. Go! Cool. Right. I've been eating it for how many years now? Eating it one more time would make a difference, would it? Mm. No. I'm gonna miss you very much. Mm. to the point when I have to deal with it with all disgust or stigma? Spit in the face? Please calm down and let me explain. Don't you tell me to calm down! Don't you! Damn bitch! Please. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that? What was that? What was that? My, 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 my stepmom calls you. What's that? Floozy. Oh, exactly! That's what you are! Floozy! You think you can lie to me? By telling me you're going to see your parents going to go to hospital? That's not what I was doing. I never ever intended to hurt you. I swear. Oh, exactly. Now I know you are playing to it, right? I mean, like, it will get to a point when it will look like I'm responsible, no, isn't it? That's not what I was doing. I gave you enough time. I gave you enough time to come to terms with your fleets. And tell me about it. But you wouldn't. No wonder my stepmom is so obsessed with the idea that you were promiscuous. No! Maybe if you hadn't gone on that journey, all this wouldn't have happened. Oh, shut up your mouth before I slap you, you damn bitch. Cheap slut. What did you call me? Exactly what you are. Slut. Oh, Jesus. I just see who it is. Who did let them open the gate for at this time of the night? Huh? I can't see anything from here. Dixon, okay. find out who that is. I hope the person identified himself or herself. There must be. Sis, what happened? This night? 
Did anybody beat you? Honey, it's okay. You know, where are the luggage? She's fine. She's fine. I don't know. Talk to me. What we have thought now. So how is she? Mm, it's gone to bed. And you? Well, waiting to be briefed on all this late night drama. Sweetheart, let's just catch some sleep. Mm. Listen to me, Edna. Don't fob me off because I will not take it this time. Suddenly my daughter packs all her things and comes back to the house late in the night and you're telling me let's go to bed? Tell me what is wrong with my daughter, quickly. Honey, it, it's, it's not like I don't want to tell you. It's just that... If you don't tell me, I will go there and find out myself. What is wrong with my daughter? She... She's pregnant. George found out and... Um, Threw her out of the house. added my boxes? Yes, I've put them inside. Brother, are you going outside? No, 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 no. I just need to speak to somebody in private. I mean, I, I didn't mean for you to come here. I meant I was going to be at your place to discuss something with you. No, no, it, it's okay. I don't think it's a problem. I was in a neighborhood visiting, and I just thought I'd stop by and see what you wanted to chat about. I mean, besides, I don't have so much time. What do you mean you haven't got so much time? I'm traveling tonight to Canada. Is there a problem? No, no, I mean... Yes. Joel, I... I mean, I, I honestly don't want you to misunderstand. It's okay. Tell me what it is. I actually... 
I'm pregnant. I'm honestly sorry. I don't intend to intrude in your affairs or disrupt your movement. I mean, I... What, what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> You're pregnant? Yes, but it's not... <laughs> Good news. That's 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 good news. Can I can I sit here? Yeah. I don't think it's a nice night out now. There's nothing wrong. Why did you cancel your trip? No, there's nothing wrong. Why can't it be what is right? Let's just be positive a little bit. Like, Joel, what is right? You know? <laughs> Mom, there's nothing wrong. All the, yeah, give me glass. Give me glass. Give me glass. Come on. Yeah. What are the glasses all about? Mom, all this excitement will be over in three minutes. The suspense, everything. Give me those glasses! You see? The way it's going. <laughs> this is for mom, that's for me, and that's for you. There we go. Oops. Now for my second. That's. I should hold it like this. Yes, hold it like that. <laughs> and that's yours, my little sister. Let me top up. Top up. So now, let's drink to the latest and happiest expectant father on earth. That's ah! me! Oh, ah! Bros, I'm so happy Come for on. you. Is that for real? It's for real. It's for real. Come on, drink up, drink up, drink up. Mm. Mom, Mom, come on, drink. Mom, why aren't you happy? Happy? Is it because I'm not screaming and uh, jumping like both of you? Joel, I am a woman. Not until I know who the expectant mother is. Oh, you just sure know how to spoil the moment. This is my moment of happiness. Come on. Come on, please. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you who the mother is. Just drink to fatherhood. Come on, mom, drink. Mm, drink now. Pretty woman, put a smile on your face. Pretty, come on. You're Pretty not your woman. With this. <laughs> come on, drink. <laughs> George, I'm sincerely sorry for what has happened. Um, coming at a time when we have all decided to uh, bury the past and look optimistically through the future. Um, I was shocked and disappointed when I heard the story. And I just said to myself, why now? But again, this is to tell you that life itself is very unpredictable and once we are here, whatever we see, we accept as part of life's experience. I tell you something, George. If I were in your shoes, I would have done exactly the same thing. You know, women are very unpredictable. I remember one of the novels I read in the secondary school by Peter Cheney that says, you never know with women, and really, you never know with women. I never expected that this would turn out like this, but uh, it has happened the way it is, and I'd like you to forgive her and forge ahead with your life. And one more thing, irrespective of what may have happened, this family still loves you a lot. And um, you are welcome to this family. Don't let this development mar the relationship between you and us. Just remember that no matter what happens, you can 
always count on our love and support. Have some brandy. Thank you very much, sir, for this exalting speech. In it, I have found joy where I'm sad and strength where I'm weak. I have decided wholly to forge ahead with my life, especially now that our divorce has been officially pronounced. I want to thank Ada for understanding and submitting to the idea. And to you, I want to thank you in a special way for your wonderful support and encouragement. You are indeed a father. As per this family, it is my family. It is my home, irrespective of what has happened. And so shall it remain with God helping me. Thank you, George. Thank you very much, George. Good. You talk like a man. Why don't you have some brandy? Come on. Mommy. Thank you very much for everything. Thank you. You're welcome, man. Please, sir. Can I see her? Oh, come on. I mean, with all pleasure. Um, Dixon. see him so I said I couldn't go without popping in to say hi hi thank you I actually actually want to thank you for not opposing to the divorce suit why should I that's what you wanted what can I do it was necessary wasn't it George suit yourself Well, I, I'll be traveling back to Spain to start a new life over there. And I felt I should tell you. That's very good. I wish you good luck. Thank you very much. Bye. You, you are going to be all right? Yeah, sure. Very fine. Okay. I should be going then. Yeah. So my name is Joel Bobby and I'm into advertising and marketing by profession. I hail from Oka in Anambra State. I see. Are you a Christian son? Yes sir. Very much so. I'm a Catholic by denomination. Why didn't you think about the sixth commandment when you were ravishing my daughter? There he goes again. Or repentantly. Joseph, please. When are you going to change? When are you going to stop insulting me before my visitors? Now you want to embarrass me before my husband to be? Adora, shut up. Just shut up. It's all right. She can go ahead and insult me. She's been taking liberties lately, so uh, there's nothing to worry about actually. But I just wanted to bear one thing in mind, Adora. For the part of the Bible, it says, Honor thy father and thy mother that the days may be long. My mother and my father must learn how to stop dishonoring me before my visitors. Adora, 
one more word from you, I'm going to slap you. What slap could be worse than this unbridled humiliation from dad all the time? You pointed at me. Sweetheart, please disregard that. Adora, you pointed at me. Get down on your knees and tell me that you're sorry. I will not. One more time, Adora, I said, get down on your knees and ask me to forgive you. Adora, kneel down. Do as you say. I will not. I will not so, allow him to insult me. Good. All right. Let me just tell you a suitor that any girl that has no respect for her father or her mother can hardly honor her husband. I'm sorry for you, Adora. I'm really sorry for you. Adora, look at what you are throwing! Honey, honey, oh Jesus, honey, call the doctor, call the doctor, call the doctor, honey, honey. So I yes, see this morning. Yeah. Prof, I hope this is no stroke. Not at all. It's still the same cardiac failure. Oh, but actually what happened? He'll never let me be. He'll never let me be. He treats me with disdain all the time. Regards me with so much levity. And then at my slightest reaction, he falls into a seizure. And then what? It's my fault. I'm the offender. I'm the offender. Baby, I told you to speak less. He's going to be fine. Will he? Yes. I can assure you, he just had a minor nervous relapse, that's all. He's already had a first heart attack. It's okay. What did he say happened to him? You know, if you, you could sometimes hold on to your anger and don't go busting out on him, maybe we might never get back here. That is, if we get to live here in one piece. What happened? What happened to him? He's had yet another crisis. And from the look of things, all doesn't seem well. How do you mean? How is he doing? He's much better now. Much better. I wonder if it was appropriate for us come, to come visiting at this time. But Ada said he called, asking them to come over. I don't know what you think about that. Actually, he insisted on seeing them. And um, knowing my husband, you cannot dissuade him. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey. I'm trying. Hmm? By the grace of God, I'm getting better. What about you? How are you doing? How do you do, sir? Beautiful. Hmm? Good day, sir. Mm -hmm. I am Mrs. Obi. I am Joel's mother. Mm, very thoughtful of you to come. Thank you, sir. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, Adora, how are you doing? I'm fine. But you're looking good. Mm. Edna. Yes, dear. Please. Get to have visitors some cool a lot. Sure. Excuse me. So how is your head, sir? Well, by the grace of God, I think I'm getting better. And um, Edna has been taking wonderful care of me. Thank God. Mm. 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 Why are you letting this weigh you down? I think you should rather be rejoicing your father is fine. 
Rejoicing? Over what? When my father lies ill on my account? Don't talk like this. Why are you talking like this? It's still my making. I mean, it's still my making. You don't have to make me feel better. I just shouldn't have. I... Do you remember when he spoke to us? He told us he said you should not blame yourself. That he's going to be fine. Is he fine? I mean, Joel, no matter what he must have done to me in the past, I don't think he deserved it. He just doesn't deserve it. It'll be all right. I wish I could make him understand that I'm sorry and that I'll never ever hurt him again. I swear by my life. Sweetie, you don't have to swear about anything. You don't have to. You'll be fine. What we need to do is to concentrate on our future plans, our wedding. You're pregnant. Don't let these things weigh you down. Okay? Okay. You'll be fine. Hello. Hey, darling. You're still up? Yes, I am. You know, sometimes I wish this weak heart of mine would give me a break so you people will stop worrying about me. We are not complaining. Wonderful people, ain't you? Lovely father. You know, sometimes when I think about our daughter, I say to myself, I must have caused her so much pain. So much pain. And, and that was because I never saw things her own way. Or, or, or did I? It is fine now. Forget ye the things of the past and um, remember them no more. Well, I am doing a new thing in your life. I make a river for you in the desert. And he makes a way for us? Where yeah, there, there is, is no way. way. <laughs> you know, I always wanted the best for our daughter. Well, everything is okay now. You, you did the best you could for her by blessing her marriage and I'm so grateful. I don't know. I, I think I pushed her daughter too hard. I pushed her so hard. But that was purely because of my own ignorance. Sweetheart, you did what you think and felt was the best for her. You don't need to regret anything. Because everything was done in good faith. Thank you very much, Edna. Sometimes I say to myself, what would I have been without you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you have my pillow. Wakey, wakey. Good morning, sleepyhead. So I have to tell you that where I come from, my mother serves my father meals, not the other way around. Well, in our world, I will serve you breakfast. This is love practice. Why would I want you to be bothered about house chores when you're pregnant with my baby? I honestly shouldn't let you do that. It's all right. There we go. I'm going to prepare breakfast. I won't let you do this. No, you're not going anywhere. Oh. Come on, come on. I have to. No. Come on. Oh. Oh. Did I do that? No. What is, what is this? No, it's, 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 it's nothing. Relax, relax. Sit, 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 sit. sit. Lie down. Since when have you started been feeling that? There's this, there's this pain I've been feeling here and it's been so persistent. I mean, as long as the pregnancy, I've been feeling it just, yeah. And you never told me about it. Have you told the doctor? No, not at all. And uh, I, I, I'm just wondering. Honestly, Doctor, I didn't think it was anything serious because the pain wasn't constant. How can you not think it is something serious? You're pregnant. Huh? A pregnancy up to five months? Yeah. 
because I, I'm, I'm sure your pregnancy is well above 28 weeks. I, I, am I not correct? Yes, doctor, you're correct. Please, you have to be careful. I will just uh, prefer you for an ultrasound. Okay? should talk to me. Whatever the problem is, I promise you that together we shall find a solution to it. Joel? Yes, ma'am. Talk to me now. Baby. Oh, honey. Still up? I just have to. Oh, honey. You need not wait up for me before you go have dinner. I don't feel like having dinner. I'm not, I'm not hungry. Ask my daughter. Oh, fine. Splendid. She's very well. She was barely having a slight contraction. But I made sure the doctor put it under control. Is the contraction premature? Yes. But it has been controlled. Honey, you don't need to think about it. She's fine. All right, get her on the phone. I want to speak with her. Honey, but she's okay. She's very well now. I just feel like speaking with her. Get her on the phone. Honey, I don't want you to think about this. She's well. She's okay. If not, I wouldn't have come back. I want to speak with her. By getting pregnant for that lout, George or whatever you call his name, is a solution because it's not. What would you have me do, mother? Stay in your house with a pregnancy out of wedlock? Holy night? Lady of the church? Shut up! Do not think that I don't have a solution to it because of getting rid of that baby, whether you like it or not. How dare you suggest abortion in my house, Lady of St. John? What do you want me to do? Listen to me, abortion is not even an option. Abortion is a sin against God and a crime against humanity. Abortion is murder. She will have that child. And I will live with the stigma? She will have the baby. No, no, I can't. I won't. What? I cannot have an abortion. It will kill my father. Sweetie, what are you saying? Can't you see? Can't you see the way my father looks? Can't you see the hell I've put him through? No, you did not. My father never used to be hypertensive. I led him to it. Sweetie, you don't need to talk like don't this. Don't patronize me. Uh, hello, Anna. Is that you? Yes, Daddy. Are you all right? I'm fine, Daddy. I'm just worried about you. Honey, please, let me remind her of something. Let me talk with my daughter, please. Dad. There's something I want to tell you. Come on, feel free to talk to me, my daughter. Go on. Dad, I know this might sound really strange. You might not believe me. But I really feel like I should tell you. And let it be something I've done against all the odds. Dad. I love you. I loved you so much. I'm sorry about all the pains I caused you. I'm sorry about all the traumas I put you through. I loved you so much, Dad. And I promise I'll never hurt you again. Oh, come on. You don't have to say that. You don't. I swear by my life. I love you. I love you so much. Bye, Dad.
Is Ada all right? Yes, she's fine. Very fine. Take me to her. This night? No. Ador, I just want you to understand the import of this problem of yours. By ectopic pregnancy, it means that your baby is not growing inside your womb. It is growing outside your womb. And the baby will grow and draw its blood from wherever region it is implanted. Adora, that is dangerous. Because it can rupture that organ where it is implanted. It is only the womb that was designed to expand while the baby grows. My dear, that is the risk you stand. Mother, everything in life is a risk. Even the abortion is a risk. I want all of you to trust God with me that everything will be fine. Adora, this is a precarious situation. Mother, please, nothing is going to happen. I want you all to just sit still and watch God perform miracles. Adora, I don't know why you children want me to watch you all go. What you're doing is not fair. It's not just fair, Adora. Your sister died from the same bout of labor. Remember that she died in my arms, Adora. Before my eyes, she died. The second was your brother. He committed suicide. Suicide, Adora. And now you want me to just watch you go to... Mother, nobody is going anywhere. Please. I don't want to have an abortion because that is against it. I don't want to hurt him again. Besides, we've lost too many people already. Don't forget that crown died in my arms. Please try. No, Mother, I can't. Please. No, Mother, I don't want to lose my father. Who says your father is going to know? We will not tell him until he's done. Adora, please. Please have pity on me. Look at your husband. Look at how distraught he has made to be Adora. Just look at him. I love you more. Please listen to your mother. Please. Welcome once again. Thank well, you. Uh, so far, madam, you have uh, shown little or no evidence of uh, rupture. Because you are hemodynamically stable. That's good. Your beta HCG level has shown considerable signs of decline. These are the factors we consider before advising for a manageable tubal pregnancy. But I'll be quick to assert that uh, these factors only reduces the risk by about 30%. My God is alive. Doctor, 30% is not good enough. Well, I might have to agree with you, madam. But, uh, you know, the decision is yours to make. I'm only here to follow your plans. Doctor, there is no point. We are continuing with the initial option. There's a point, mother. I'll give this a trial. And if anything happens during the process, it's God's wish. No, Adora. That's not how the will of God works. The word of God says, Above all the graces you've received, make efforts. So Today you have a chance to live. Don't throw it away. So going in for an abortion is making an effort? Excuse me, excuse me. Madam, 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 Madam. <sighs> the decision we are considering here is not one that should be made in haste. No, doctor, the whole thing is so absurd. Tell her. I have, I've absorbed my dear harsh word for that, but in being altruistic, Ada, I will advise that you candidly explore all the options available. The option of a DNC, the option of uh, managing the pregnancy to a child bed. Please explore them, but be sensitive, okay? Then consult with the people that love you, the people that you love, the people that care for you, such as your mother here. She's so concerned, and your husband, so that all of you can put heads together and come up with a good reason. A reason that will be informed of prudence and not absolute foolhardy. This is ectopic pregnancy we are talking about here. I am the doctor. 
and it's my professional opinion that you should please be sensitive in whatever decision you make. Doctor, my God is alive. to the voice of your loved ones. Your mother and I truly understand how you feel. And we know that no mother will hurt her child. So please, reconsider your decision. Oh? Why do you say that? Adora, please, be reasonable. You're in a life-threatening situation. And so is every pregnant woman. No! Your case is a peculiar one. Please have mercy on your mother. She has already lost a child. Do you want her to lose another one? Adora does not think about anything. She, she just wants me to lose all. That means you've condemned me to death already? Well, that's exactly what you're doing. Taking a chance on your life. Mom, please hold on. Just hold on. Sis, what is happening? Why are you suddenly paying deaf ears to everybody? Not even the tears of our mom here could make you change your stand on this. Or have you not seen dad of late? Would you rather he dies before you realize he's going down? Ada, he's going down and he's dying. Ada doesn't want to know. She just wants to cause us more pain. Mother, you're beginning to scare me and it's not good for my condition. Adora, your condition is weighing me down. For God's sake, try as much as possible not to be selfish for once. You are the one who's being selfish, mother. Not wanting to understand my stand. What's your stand? Death? Adora, ectopic pregnancy is a major cause of maternal mortality the world over. Don't you understand? My stand is that I have a father who is pathetic and hypertensive. He doesn't want to hear anything about an abortion. Now, mother, I have caused him so much pain and I am not willing to cause him any more pain. You're insane. I agree. Excuse me. You just want to sit down there and watch that girl turn you into a widower? Mom, I'm... I'm dazed. I don't know what to say. Be a man and handle this situation maturely. Hey. He will never allow that. Let us just leave him out of it. He will never agree, and that will give Adora some fiber with her stubbornness. Um, I don't think so. I mean, that could be reasonable at times. Your father reasons from the point of view of the doctrines. He will never agree. Come on, Mom. Let's not wish we had brought him into this. Dixon, he is my husband. I lived with him for 12 years before he became your father. So I know what I'm talking about. Let's just forget your father in this matter and pray that Adora understands us. Who are you praying understands you? Uh, I mean, you're still up. You, you should be sleeping, you know, you're on drugs. Yeah, you know? Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Whose understanding are you praying for? Well, well it's actually Joel. Mm. I, I was of the opinion that um, since Adora's condition has become more delicate, that he should allow her to come home so that I'll be able to watch her closely. Why does she require that kind of close observation? So, you know, considering the the, the regular bouts of um, premature contractions, one wouldn't know what to expect next. 
Is she in any kind of trouble? Ah, no. That, yes. Good. Actually, uh, what yes, is it? yes, actually, um, she's, she's still having some, some, she's still experiencing some contractions. And the doctor, uh, honey, please, uh, just calm down and listen to me first. I'm please. listening. Go on. I'm listening to you. Go on. You are. Well, the doctor advised that in the event the contractions persist, that she should have a DNC. Father, you said your children shall be the head and never be the tail. Lord, you said that gather the most gather, but as long as their gathering is not in your name, they shall surely fall. Heavenly Father, I come before you. Lord, I commit my pregnancy into your hand. Father, you said that children are a reward from you. Heavenly Father, this child is going to be a reward from you to me in Jesus' name. Father, when everybody thinks that it is finished, Lord, that's when your miracles begin to show up. Father, you said we should knock and the door shall be opened. Father, you said we should seek and we shall find. Lord, you said we should ask and it shall be given. Heavenly Father, I'm committing this child into your hands. Father, let your miracles begin to show. Father, let your miracles begin to show. Father, you said that faith can move mountains. Father, I have faith that I'm going to be okay. Lord, I have faith that I'm going to be fine. Father, I have faith that death is not my portion. King of glory, come to my aid. Heavenly Father, come to my aid. Father, let them stand still and see your miracles. Father, because you said before you there is no God and after you there will be no other. King of glory, come and show your dominance in Jesus' name. Father, you said that heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall never pass away. Father, you said your words are yea and amen. Father, come and make your words yea and amen in my life in Jesus' name. Father, I commit this pregnancy to your hands. Father, come and take preeminence control. Father, you said you had the heart of kings in your hand, and you turn it whichever way you want to turn it. King of glory, I put this child before your footstool. Father, come and take absolute control in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, I shall live to that defy of your goodness. I shall live to that. you coming to bed? I'm coming. You're worried about what they say that I'm going to die? I don't know, nobody is scared of that. Nobody is saying you're going to die. Okay, we're just concerned about your well-being. And I know you know that I love you very much. You have nothing to fear. I have nothing to fear. 
You have to believe in God and trust my faith. I am dying inside. I'm dying inside. Nothing is going to happen. Are you saying you're not bothered that a child is growing outside your womb? My love, you are my strength. You have to trust God, just like I do. Well, what are you trying to do? You're trying to lose your life so that you can save that of the unborn child? Is that what you're trying to do? <sighs> Nothing is going to happen to me. That's all I know. Come on, let's go to bed. I'm tired. You take me. Joel. Joel. We fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our prayers in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. O ever glorious and blessed Virgin Mary, Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing. Only for God's sake, who's it who's been disturbing our prayer? Good morning, darling. Good morning. Who's that? Okay. Oh, he's Joel. Doesn't he pray in the morning? Let me call him back. Alright. Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Let's go to the house. I will not die. No, I, I will not die. I know, but my strength are made. Hello, Mom. Is everything okay? Not, it's not okay. Ada is here. She's she, she's in pain. Oh my God. Where are you now? We are home. We're trying to go to the hospital. Okay, okay. Just go. I'll meet you. All right. Bye bye. What's the problem? Ada is having yet another bout of contractions. Not again. Can the doctor put a stop to this problem? A permanent solution to this problem? Permanent solution? Yes! Honey, why are you talking as if you don't know that the only permanent solution to this problem is a DNC? Does she have an option? I beg your pardon? Let her do the DNC and save her life! Are you serious? Listen to me. My daughter's life is at stake. Let him procure the DNC for God's sake and save this girl's life. Darling, having a DNC is terminating the pregnancy. Okay. Would you prefer that she keep the pregnancy and dies? Would you? Listen to me, Edna. Go to the hospital and get that daughter to do the DNC and save my daughter's life. If you will not go there, get somebody to take me there. You heard me. I will. Yes, madam, calm down. Uh, Mr. Jewel, uh, the situation is that she has experienced a rupture of her fallopian tube going into the to be pregnant. And the only option available at our disposal right now is to wheel her into the theater and conduct a laparotomy on her. That will help us uh, try to repair the organs, try to save her and save the baby as well. Uh, doctor, please come and attend to her, please. Yes, as, as the, the theater is being set for that, uh, it's just that uh, the consultant gynecologist who is going to lead in the surgery is not here, here yet. The last time we spoke, he said he was 10 minutes away. So as soon as he gets here, we will... Uh, uh, just tell them to hurry up, please, doctor. Doctor, is she going to make it? Well, Mr. Joel, I believe in God. I, I, I think you two should... Uh... Okay, okay, the consultant is here, madam. Please, I'll just have to Doctor, please, 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 please. Thank you, please. Joel. 
joueur. Come and sit down, my son. Oh. Joseph is calling me again. And what are we going to tell him now? What more can I say? Just hold on. Hello, Joseph. Yes, she's fine. She's okay. Jo Joseph, I, I guess I have to call you back. <sighs> doctor, doctor, no, doctor. How is she? Madam, she's. Uh... How was the surgery? The surgery has been concluded and we have a cause to thank God. Madam, Mr. Joel, uh, we were able to rescue the baby. Put him in an incubator. And your daughter, your wife, she's okay. Hey! Um, well, not now, not now. We know she lost a lot of blood and... Uh, she... But she will be okay? Yes, we had, we induced her to sleep so that the recovery could be quicker. But you don't have anything to fear. So she will be fine. Hi. Thank you. 